Let's move on to a couple dribs and drabs from around the traps. Craig Council back in Milwaukee this week. He was the skipper of the Brewers for, I believe, eight years, seven years, eight years, one of those two, before bolting to Chicago this past winter for a hefty contract to manage the rival Chicago Cubs. He was indeed booed in his return to AmFam American Family Field. Bailey, when you saw Craig Council uh, underneath a torrential downpour of jeers, what was your reaction? I thought it was fine. I, you know, and I think we as, uh, you know, like none of us grew up, you know, Cubs or Brewers fans here, but uh, as as neutral fans, I think we love, you know, getting a chance to judge a fan base based on their decision to boo or cheer a returning player or manager. We love to, uh, you know, sort of base their character off of uh, that decision or if it's a mix of of cheers and jeers. Uh, this was mostly jeers. This was booze. And I, I guess what just makes it acceptable to me is that he he left them for the division rival. He left them for the, you know, the big bad Cubs in the NL Central after, uh, you know, having some really nice years in Milwaukee and they were in the playoffs last year and they were generally in the playoffs with him more often than not. And and that's kind of the point that I, I want to make is if he'd have left them you know, for the massive, you know, record setting paycheck uh, to join the Mets or the Angels or the Giants or any of the other teams with uh, managerial openings. I don't think they would have booed him uh, upon his return to Milwaukee, uh, but he left for the Cubs. That was his decision. I understand why he did it. They're paying him way more money. And, uh, you know, the team is probably has more budget for uh, free agent spending in the in the near future. So, uh, yeah, I think totally fine for Craig Council to leave and totally fine for him to get booed uh, when he returns to Milwaukee. It was on good fun. I think we boot up the multiple things can be true machine here because that is the case. Right. And. I I think I don't know how you feel about booing, but Jordan and I are generally like very anti boo. I think that the you should only usually boo if there were crimes, mm. right? If there were crimes done or uh, PEDs ingested and proven to be the case. Usually, I don't love a boo. However, this case is about as understandable as it gets. Remember, Craig Council is not was not just the manager of the Milwaukee Brewers. He was born and raised in Milwaukee. He went to high school in Milwaukee. He played for the Brewers. He was not just from there. He was of there. And I think that when you have a player or a a manager who is from the place where the team plays, it only heightens that level of connection because Brewers fans could look at Craig Council and be like, he's one of us, right? He went to Whitefish Bay High School. He probably goes to Eagle Park Brewery. He like he is from this place. He knows the place and fans like that. And for him to leave, it almost says, oh, none of that mattered, right? Hey, oh, all the things that we thought were important to Greg Council, none of that mattered. So feel free to boo. Totally chill. I have no issue with it. I hope these two teams go down to the wire. I kind of want them to tie for the division and have the one game playoff that they had back in 2018. Well, can I say something, you know, just with regards to that division race, I think uh, Brewers fans felt empowered to boo because they are currently leading in the standings. And so if the idea for Craig Council is I'm leaving for greener pastures, uh, that has not necessarily been the case, at least for the first third of this season. I think we generally believe that Craig Council is one of the best managers in baseball, if not the best manager in baseball. I would say that his decision making and the record breaking contract he got over the offseason both back that up. Does Milwaukee's early season success under Pat Murphy make you rethink the skill or the impact or the importance of Craig Council? That the team has continued to thrive and succeed in his absence, should that or does that lessen the way we think about him? For me, ever so slightly, it does. Uh, And I think it's not necessarily... We're not necessarily auditing Craig Council here. We're auditing just the role of the manager in general in Major League Baseball in 2024. And, uh, you know, the Brewers have a a good organization. You know, it's not just Council departed. It's, you know, Stearns departed, too. So they had turnover both in terms of the field manager and general manager. And yet they they continue to do well, at least so far through the first third of the season. The, the, The question I always pose people to try to, you know, help ascertain how they feel about manager value is I'll say, hey, you know, if you could choose between having a replacement level manager 
and Shohei Otani versus, you know, Craig Council and not having Shohei Otani, obviously you would choose Otani. And I kind of tried to think of that in terms of war. Okay, Otani's like an eight to 10 war player. Okay, would you rather have Craig Council or like a three war player? Would you rather have Craig Council or Ian Happ? And I think once you start to get down to brass tacks on that debate, you can kind of see where everyone is at in terms of how they value managers. But I, I, I think it does probably uh, decrease how much I, I value Craig Council a little bit, given how successful Pat Murphy has been in the early goings with the Brewers. But at the same time, I don't think I, I valued managers that high in particular. And I think Craig Council is one of the best, if not the best in the game.